the labyrinth of the human mind, there lies a secret, a portal to unseen realms. They call it the Third Eye. Let's embark on a journey through the shrouded corridors of ancient wisdom and modern mysticism, exploring the enigma that is the Third Eye. This concept, both mystical and profound, has captivated humanity's imagination for millennia, permeating various cultures, religions, and philosophical teachings worldwide. The third eye, often depicted as an inner eye or a mystical gateway, is believed to be the epicenter of wisdom, intuition, and spiritual insight. It's a concept that transcends the physical, delving into the realm of the metaphysical, the spiritual, the esoteric, in the grand tapestry of mythologies from diverse corners of the world. The third eye has etched its own unique narrative. From the ancient Hindu scriptures to the esoteric teachings of the Egyptians, from the cryptic texts of the Taoists to the elaborate folklore of the Celts, the third eye has been a recurring motif, a symbol of enlightenment and transcendental knowledge. The hermitical traditions too speak of this third eye. It's a concept cherished by the solitary seekers of truth, those who renounce the physical world to journey within, in pursuit of a higher reality. You have here the pituitary and somewhere here you have the pineal gland. In philosophical circles, the third eye is often associated with the idea of inner vision or higher consciousness. It's seen as a tool to transcend the mundane, to rise above the superficial and to perceive the world beyond the confines of physical reality. Despite its prevalence in ancient texts and belief systems, the third eye remains shrouded in mystery. It's a concept that has both baffled and fascinated scholars, mystics and seekers of truth alike. Is it a symbol of our innate wisdom, a metaphor for spiritual awakening, or could it be a dormant organ, a vestige of our evolutionary past? The third eye, a mystical concept, a myth, or perhaps a hidden truth waiting to be discovered. As we delve deeper into this enigma, let's keep our minds open, for the journey is as intriguing as the destination. Mythologies around the world echo with references to the third eye, often associated with deities, seers, and the profoundly enlightened. This mysterious concept, the third eye, is prevalent in some of the world's oldest and most profound mythologies. Let's delve into a few. In Hindu mythology, Lord Shiva, one of the principal deities of Hinduism, is often depicted with a third eye on his forehead. This eye is a source of his omniscience, capable of perceiving the universe's truths beyond ordinary sight. It symbolizes inner vision, wisdom, and spiritual awakening. When Shiva opens his third eye, it's said to destroy everything in its path, symbolizing the destructive and transformative power of spiritual enlightenment. Buddhist mythology too reverberates with the symbolism of the third eye. In Buddhism, the third eye is closely associated with the urna, a mark seen on the forehead of enlightened beings, or Buddhas. This eye is a symbol of higher consciousness and spiritual insight, a gateway to realms beyond the physical world. They tell us that this pineal gland is formed like an eye, like an atrophied eye, that it was an eye sometime. But if it was really an atrophied eye, then why hide it under the brain if it was supposed to see light? Ancient Egyptian culture also references the third eye, the eye of Horus, an ancient Egyptian symbol of protection, royal power and good health, has often been linked to the concept of the third eye. It represents divine awareness, protection and the ability to see beyond the constraints of time and space. In each of these mythologies, the third eye is not merely a physical organ, but a spiritual tool, a gateway to realms beyond the physical world. It symbolizes a state of enlightenment where one can perceive the truths of the universe, transcending the limitations of human perception. These ancient narratives also highlight the shared symbolism of the third eye across diverse cultures. In each, it represents inner vision, wisdom and spiritual awakening, a guiding light towards a higher state of consciousness. As we traverse these ancient narratives, the third eye appears as a beacon of divine insight and wisdom. It invites us to explore the depths of our consciousness, to seek wisdom, and to awaken the divine potential within ourselves. Situated in the mystical realm, the third eye serves as an entrance to the elusive, invisible, and celestial. This particular point, present centrally on the forehead and slightly above the brows, is regarded as a conduit to realms beyond our physical world. In the world of spiritual, 
the third eye transcends being a mere physical feature, transforming into a deep spiritual emblem. It carries significant importance as it is thought to be the center of inner vision, intuition and wisdom. Not just a tool to perceive the observable world, but also a means to comprehend the world in its raw, unembellished form. The third eye is frequently linked with clairvoyance, the capability to discern events and information that surpass normal human senses. Individuals with clairvoyance are thought to have a second sight, a unique ability to envision, anticipate forthcoming from an intuitive sense as if they were occurring right under their noses, or manifesting distant or nearby events based on various internal aspects. Why have something that looks like an eye that gets information from outside but at the same time is pointing downwards, under the brain? This second sight is considered to originate from the third eye, unfolding truths that are concealed from ordinary view. Additionally, the third eye is said to be the access point to astral projection, the process of the spirit or astral body, departing from the physical body to wander in the astral plane. This isn't a physical journey, but rather a transcendent experience, a passage into celestial territories beyond our material universe. Lucid dreaming is also connected with the third eye. It signifies the situation of being alert within your dream, capable of controlling and manipulating the dream environment according to your will. This advanced state of consciousness is believed to be accessed through the third eye, enabling us to delve into the depths of our subconscious mind. The mystics, the visionaries, the enlightened beings, all talk of the third eye as a guiding light for inner wisdom and knowledge. It isn't a physical organ that can be observed or touched, but a spiritual tool for perceiving beyond the curtain of physical reality. They regard it as the key for surpassing the physical world, to voyage into the territories beyond. The mystics see the third eye as the key to transcending the physical, to journey into the realms beyond. In philosophy, the third eye symbolizes the pursuit of knowledge, the quest for truth beyond the veil of illusion. As we delve into the realm of philosophy, the third eye takes on a more profound significance. It becomes a metaphorical lens through which we perceive the world, a symbol of our internal compass guiding us towards enlightenment. It represents the human ability to transcend the physical world, to go beyond the superficial and see what lies beneath. Philosophers often view the third eye as an emblem of awareness and consciousness. It's the gateway to the inner realms and spaces of higher consciousness. It embodies the human capacity to think, to question, to ponder, and to seek answers. It's about the quest for knowledge and the pursuit of truth, the yearning to understand the world and our place in it. So, if this is inner vision, why here? Why looking here? It must have a link here and something here. Your spine goes down here, but why here? Is it looking at something there. The third eye is also associated with the philosophical concept of enlightenment, a state of awareness where illusion is shared and reality is seen in its raw, unfiltered form. It's about cutting through the fog of ignorance, peeling away layers of misconception and seeing things as they truly are. Enlightenment, in philosophical terms, is not a destination, but a journey. It's a continual process of learning and unlearning, of questioning and understanding. The third eye serves as a symbol of this journey, a beacon guiding us through the labyrinth of life. This quest for truth, this pursuit of knowledge, is what the third eye represents in philosophy. It's a reminder that we should never stop questioning, never stop seeking. It's a testament to the human spirit's insatiable curiosity and relentless pursuit of understanding. In the grand tapestry of philosophy, the third eye is a thread weaving through various concepts, ideas and ideologies. It's a symbol, a metaphor, a concept and an ideal. It's a representation of the human desire to know, to understand and to grow. In the quest for truth, the third eye serves as a reminder that reality may stretch far beyond what our two eyes can perceive. In the energy anatomy of the human body, the third eye resonates as the sixth chakra, Ajna, the command center. The third eye chakra, or Ajna, is a fascinating concept, deeply entrenched in yoga and meditation practices. 
the word Ajna in Sanskrit translates to perceive and command, reflecting the chakra's role as the observer of our inner and outer worlds. It's an invisible eye of insight and intuition, a beacon that guides us beyond the realm of the physical. Located between the eyebrows, the Ajna chakra is often pictured as a vibrant indigo lotus with two petals, symbolizing the union of opposites, the yin and yang, the sun and moon. It's the meeting point of the Ida and Pingala, the two major energy channels that spiral up the spine, converging to create a portal to spiritual enlightenment. The third eye chakra is the command center, the overseer of our energy system. It's the hub of intuition, foresight and spiritual perception. When open and balanced, it allows us to see beyond the material world, to perceive the deeper metaphysical realities. It's like a bridge, connecting our physical existence with the spiritual realm, helping us to understand the interconnectedness of all beings. The significance of the third eye chakra in spiritual growth is profound. When activated, it opens the doors to higher consciousness, amplifying our intuitive abilities. It's the key to inner peace, wisdom and enlightenment, helping us transcend the limitations of the physical world. The heart is the place where you have the most blood in your body. So it's the center of the fiery element. And fire produces light. So the mystical connection of light of the heart perceived by the pineal gland, illumination, and then what's perceived out here with the visual center. So this light is in resonance with this center. So your inner light is here and it is on a harmonic, a higher harmonic to the actual light you perceive in colors. Balancing the third eye chakra is an essential part of any spiritual practice. Techniques such as meditation, yoga, and mindful breathing can help in opening and balancing this chakra. When balanced, it offers clarity of thought, heightened intuition, and a deep spiritual connection, guiding us towards our true purpose. The Ajna Chakra, our third eye, is the seat of intuition, the gateway to higher realms of consciousness. It's not just an ancient symbol or a mystical concept, but a powerful tool for spiritual growth, a beacon of light guiding us on our journey towards self-realization. The third eye, a symbol, a concept, a reality. It's a journey of exploration into the depths of our own consciousness. We've delved into its mythological roots, its mystical significance, its philosophical interpretations, and its place within the chakra system. The third eye, a beacon guiding us into the unknown, a lens through which we can perceive beyond the physical realm. Remember, the third eye isn't just a concept, it's an invitation to explore the unseen dimensions of your own self. Beyond the realms of mythology, mysticism and philosophy, we now delve into the biological and scientific facts associated with the third eye. Often, when people refer to the third eye, they are referring to the pineal gland. This is a small endocrine gland located in the geometric center of our brain. It's responsible for producing melatonin, a hormone that affects the modulation of our wake sleep patterns and our photoperiodic or seasonal functions. Some researchers have hypothesized that the pineal gland could be the physical embodiment of the mystical third eye, given its association with light and its effects on our circadian rhythms. That's why in any mystical experience, the light effect, I mean, if you do some meditation or do some prayer or something, sometimes you can see that there's some slightly more light in your vision. So there's a link between the center here, pituitary pineal heart and the brain then. It is indeed intriguing to think that this small gland could hold the key to such a powerful concept. In the realm of science, studies are being conducted to explore the role of the pineal gland in regulating sleep, mood, and possibly even spiritual experiences. While these studies are still in their early stages, they offer a promising insight into the tangible aspects of the third eye. As we continue our journey, let's remember that science and spirituality often intertwine. Each offers unique insights into the enigma of the third eye. While the third eye remains a mystical and philosophical concept, it's fascinating to explore its potential biological and scientific counterparts. 
As we conclude our journey into the enigma of the third eye, remember this is just the beginning. This exploration has merely opened the door to a vast world of possibilities, a world that exists within each one of us. Next time we delve deeper into the mysteries of the human consciousness. From astral projection to lucid dreaming, the journey ahead is filled with intrigue and discovery. Our journey into the unseen continues, and the adventure has just begun. So until then, keep your third eye open and stay tuned as we have yet to scratch the surface of what lies within.